me give you a hint for how I try to do these problems. So if I'm looking for the sine inverse of 1, this is asking me the following question. The question is, what angle, because that's what I'm looking for, the output of my inverse functions are angle measures. So it's asking what angle between, and this is where the it, knowing the range comes in, it's a sine, so the range of the sine inverse is negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 inclusive. That means I include both those ends. Has a sine value. Negative pi over 6 would not, I mean, so the negative 
negative one half would not be because there are two places in here where you would have the value y value negative one half. And see, this specifies which one because in an inverse function you can only have one output for a given input. So in the one case it doesn't make a difference because there's only one place you hit one. But in the case of others, there are two places you hit those. Since everybody's packing up, let me do one more. You can do this one real quick. So it might help. What angle? So this time I've got a cosine. That switches my output spots. What angle between? What was my output possibilities for my cosine inverse? In other words, a zero to pi. So what angle between zero and pi has a cosine value of zero? So where is the cosine value is which coordinate on the unit circle? The x coordinate. So as I'm working my way from here over to here, where do I run into an x coordinate of zero? At pi over two. Now here's another place where, Sam, it makes a difference. You have to have it here because down here you also run into an x coordinate of zero. So we have to specify where we get to keep it. And so that's the one up here. We will continue this on Wednesday. Where we'll look now.